time to get drug free and clean. According to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, over 72,000 people have died from drug-related deaths in 2017. Schools around the country are taking a stand against drugs to keep their students safe before it's too late. In Mountville Elementary School, teachers are finding more unconventional ways to teach drug awareness. Mother Goose is a great big horrible friend. Drugs have invaded her land and they're easy to dance. Mrs. Carpenter, a teacher at Mountville, puts together a play about the dangers of drugs every year for the entire school. This only adds to the drug curriculum the school already has. So we learned a little bit about the um, drugs that students may encounter in their lives um, and some statistics um, and we talked a little bit about vaping and we talked about alcohol use and I know through um, PE they're doing an opioid lesson right now. Everyone at the play got to participate. Participation also came into play during Red Ribbon Week at Lansville Primary Center. As one of their teachers explains, Down here at the elementary school, it was a whole week focused on drug prevention. So we had different days of dress, and there were different announcements made throughout the school. So at the elementary school, it was something that we really took on and embraced, um, similar to what we do at the high school. Mr. Tani is also one of the health teachers at Hempfield High School that educates the students about standing against drugs. We're not only informing our kids, but we're also giving them the skills that if they get involved in a situation where something like this comes up, they can say no. Saying no is a lesson that each student has found their own reasons for, inside and outside of the classroom. Uh, like just starting with weed and thinking that that's a cool drug to do can get all the way to heroin and cocaine and then you become an addict and there's no way to stop. Everywhere you went pretty much where I used to live, you could see people like using and like you could see them when they were not using and then when they were using and they were just like, it was just two different people. I've seen it affect so many people that I don't really want it to affect me like that. The high school even brought in police officers and a paramedic to further inform the students. Just creating those connections where students are able to have those open conversations with those community members instead of viewing you know, that police officer as someone that you only go to if you're in trouble. It's actually a great resource to have and we can communicate with them and talk with them and, and create those connections. Our reason for being here is to educate you guys so that you guys can make the right choices in life. Through Hempfield's many efforts to teach drug awareness, they have been able to maintain one of their main priorities, their students' safety. Last thing I want to have to do is be the, the medic that shows up to treat one of you guys and have to make a phone call I don't want to make. For Hempfield Happenings, I'm Maddie Olson.